Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of English Lessons with Grammar Man. Today I have another short but informative video for you all and that is on the use of the word suggest. Now suggest, if you suggest something, it means that you put forward an idea or a plan for somebody to think about. That is the dictionary definition of the verb suggest. So what I'm going to do is give you three simple sentences using the word suggest and I want you to have a think which ones are grammatically incorrect and which ones are grammatically correct. So three simple sentences. Sentence number one. I suggest you to buy the car. I suggest you to buy the car. Sentence number two. He suggested me a great restaurant. He suggested me a great restaurant. And sentence number three, Nancy suggested to go to the beach. Nancy suggested to go to the beach. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple of seconds to think which one is correct, which one is incorrect. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, time is up. So. If you thought that all of those sentences were incorrect, then you're a genius. No need to watch the rest of this video. Watch some of my more advanced material. But if you thought that even one of those sentences was correct, then this video is for you because they're all completely wrong and I'm going to explain why. Alrighty, so I'm going to give you three simple rules so that you can always use the verb suggest correctly. When we suggest something to somebody, we use the formula suggest plus noun phrase plus to somebody. So I'll give you an example of an incorrect sentence first. He suggested me a good restaurant. Completely incorrect. Don't ever say this sentence because it doesn't fit this formula. The correct formula, or the correct sentence, sorry, is he suggested a good restaurant to me. He suggested a good restaurant, noun phrase, to me. So the to me is in brackets because we can leave the to me out and still have a grammatically correct sentence. For example, we could say he suggested a good restaurant. Grammatically correct sentence. Or he suggested a good restaurant to me. As long as the noun phrase comes after the word suggest, when we're suggesting something, then we have a correct sentence. Rule number two. When we suggest an action to somebody, we can use a that clause. A that clause. So, when we suggest that somebody does something, then we're suggesting an action. And then the formula is suggest plus that clause plus pronoun plus base verb. Alrighty, sounds a bit crazy. Sounds like a huge formula for a simple sentence. It's, it's much simpler than that. I'll break it down for you now. It's very simple. So first I'll give you an incorrect sentence. I suggest you to buy the car. I suggest you to buy the car. Incorrect sentence. Don't ever make this mistake. It doesn't fit the formula. It's an incorrect sentence. The correct sentence is, I suggest that you buy the car. I suggest that you buy the car. Okay, it fits the formula. Suggest that. Then we have the pronoun you, and then the base verb buy. I suggest that you buy the car. Now that is in brackets because we can leave the word that out and still have a grammatically correct sentence. So we could say, I suggest you buy the car. Or I suggest that you buy the car. That's our two options. So the third and final rule. Now this rule is for when we suggest doing something in general. So we suggest an action, but not specifically to somebody, just doing something in general. I'll give you an example. Um, so, first of all, an incorrect sentence. Nancy suggested to go to the beach. Nancy suggested to go to the beach. 
Incorrect. Don't ever say this sentence. It's completely wrong. And the reason is because we don't follow the verb suggest with the to infinitive. Nancy suggested to go is the to infinitive. To plus the base verb. To infinitive we don't use after suggest. Instead, we use the durand, the ing form of the verb. So the, sen the correct sentence is, Nancy suggested going to the beach. Never use the to infinitive, always use the durand. All right, guys, so that's basically it. That's how we use the verb suggest correctly. Hopefully you can all use the verb suggest correctly in a sentence now. Um, thanks a lot for watching. And as always, please give the video a subscribe and a like. Leave comments in the comment section. Any videos you want me to make and I'll make them for you. And as always, have a look on the website for more learning material. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Cheers.